Welcome to a strategy on exponential moving average using binary options. This topic is brought to you by binaryoptions.net.au. The exponential moving average is a trending indicator that is a variation of the simple moving average. The EMA is a moving average which places greater weight on more recent data. To smooth and eliminate volatility of short-term daily price movements, the EMA is plotted on the top of the price movement of a stock and assigns more importance to the most recent prices. Considered a lagging or reactive indicator, the EMA reduces the lag by applying more weight to recent prices relative to older prices allowing the EMA to react faster to recent price changes than the simple moving average. That is, considering a 10-day price chart for a given stock, the prices on the 9th and 10th days will be weighted more heavily as components of the average. EMA is used by traders to identify trend direction, support and resistance levels, and also to generate buy and sell trading signals. The two commonly used EMAs are the 50 day and 200 day. The 200 day moving average is used to measure the long term trend while the 50 day moving average picks out intermediate trends. That is, the EMA slope is always down when price closes below the moving average. EMA slope is always up when price closes above the moving average. The most typical setup when using the exponential moving average to generate trading signals is called a price crossover. That is, when prices cross above or below a moving average, a potential change in trend is signaled. So when using the price crossover method for signals, a trader charts two EMAs of different period lengths such as a 50-day EMA and a 200-day EMA. The longer-term EMA confirms the long-term trend while the price crossover with the shorter-term EMA generates trading signals. Using a long-term daily price chart of any tradable asset, a bullish buy signal is generated when price crosses above the 50 EMA while the 50 EMA is above the 200 EMA. Conversely, a bearish sell signal is triggered when price crosses below the 50 EMA while the 50 EMA is below the 200 EMA. The exponential moving average also forms the basis for many other technical indicators and overlays such as Bollinger Bands, MACD, McClellan Oscillator and Twig's Money Flow. Twig's Money Flow is a price volume oscillator that is used to warn of price breakouts and provides trend confirmation signals. Using true range, that is the high low daily range plus any gap from the closing price of the preceding day and a suggested 21 day exponential moving average, Twig's Money Flow utilizes volume to quantify the amount of money flowing in or out of the stock. Twig's money flow assumes that in a bull market prices will close in the upper half of the range and that the reverse is true in a bear market. Plotted on a sub chart below the main price chart and oscillating above and below a zero line, Twig's money flow indicates accumulation if above zero, while negative values indicate distribution. The higher the readings above or below zero, the stronger the bullish or bearish trend. Trading signals are generated with bullish, positive and bearish, negative divergence between Twig's money flow and price. Divergence, either positive or negative, is used by traders to signal a major shift in the direction of price as well as generating trade signals. A bullish or positive divergence occurs when prices fall to new lows, while the oscillator fails to reach a new low, indicating weakness in the downtrend. 
Binary traders can interpret this as a high probability call signal. A bearish or negative divergence occurs when prices rally to new highs while the oscillator refuses to reach a new peak, signalling a reversal in the uptrend. Binary traders can interpret this as a high probability put signal. Because binary options traders are not concerned with how much an asset moves in price, only the direction, using divergence between Twig's money flow and price can generate a high probability setup. To prepare the price chart for trading divergence, just as trend lines are drawn onto price, trend lines are drawn onto oscillators and indicators. On the price chart, with resistance on the high side and support on the low side, trend lines should be drawn connecting highs with higher highs and lows with lower lows. On the Twig's money flow indicator subchart, indicator swings should generally follow the direction of price swings. Trend lines should be also drawn connecting the swing highs and swing lows to compare the momentum between price and the indicator. Essentially, divergence is a disagreement between the indicator and price which indicates a high probability of price retracement. A positive disagreement signals a buy trade while a negative disagreement signals a sell trade. For more information about this topic and more binary option trading strategies, please visit binaryoptions.net.au.